No card reviews? There's no cards to review, man. Is there? I guess I'll have a look, but let's see. Oh wait, there is some. Okay, false alarm. The stream is not over. Oh wait, there's only four. Okay, never mind. All right, we can do that. Okay. We begin. Spoilers. Halvar, god of battle. Its cost is two, plus one white, plus one white. It is a Kaldheim card, a mythic rare. Card number 15, legendary creature, god. Creatures you control that are enchanted or equipped have double strike. At the beginning of each combat, you may attach target aura or equipment attached to a creature you control to target creature you control. Why the, shouldn't it have indestructible? As a god? Guys, this thing sucks, right? Creatures you control that are enchanted or equipped have double strike. At the beginning of each combat... Yeah, nice. At the beginning of each combat, if for some reason you have 180 creatures in play, you can swap your Ember Cleave that's also in play from one of those 180 creatures to one of the other 180 creatures. Oh wait, it's also this weapon? Plus two, plus zero and gains vigilance. Whenever it dies, return. Plus two, plus zero, vigilance. Wait, it doesn't auto-equip when you play it though. I'm sorry guys, but Halvar, comma, god of battle goes straight into the dumpster. Magda, Brazen Outlaw. Legendary creature, Dwarf Berserker. Other dwarves you control get plus one, plus zero. Whenever a dwarf you control becomes tapped, create a treasure token. Sacrifice five treasures, search your library for an artifact or dragon card, put that card onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. An artifact or dragon? Well, I mean, artifacts are kind of OP. Uh, but how do you get five treasures, man? How, how the hell do you get treasures? Wow. There's one one card that makes treasures and all of standard. And it is Gadrak, the Crown Scourge. Can't attack unless you control four or more treasures. At the beginning of your end step, create a treasure for each non-token creature that died this turn. What about dwarf? Any dwarfs in standard?
I mean, it could be a Dwarven Mine deck, guys. Magda Brazen Outlaw, four of Dwarven Mines. Hey. It be what it be. So, unless there's more dwarves, obviously trash. Realm Walker, Changeling, Shapeshifter, Creature. As Realm Walker enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. You may look at the top card of your library at any time. You may cast creature spells of the chosen type from the top of your library. Hey man, that might be the card for Paradox Elves, yeah. I don't know guys, it's just a tribal card, isn't it? There's no tribal decks in standard. The card is good though, kind of. Maybe. It's also hella slow though, isn't it? Maybe it's actually just not good at all. Who cares about standard? I mean, that's kind of true, but it's so in historic, you can use this in elves. But elves are very bad, and this is not good enough to make elves good. You don't, it doesn't even get a buff, right, from your elf buffs? Or I guess it does. But... Three drops are not the problem for elves, right? The, pro the problem for elves is that you only have Llanowar elves. You need another Llanowar elves, not one of these things. Um, dinos... Dinos, does, does Dinos want to play a 2-3? I mean, even if this thing was a 5-3-mana a three mana 5 5 with its effect, I still don't think it would make Dinos good. Um, you could play it in Bant Spirits, maybe. But Spirits are also not great. But at least Spirits are somewhat close to being good. And this might make them better. Vampires, is there any other reason to be in green for vampires? What does green give you for, like if you played Golgari vampires for example? Coco and that? Maybe. Maybe. The problem with vamps is that you have to play, you have to play Sorin. Champion of Dusk. Collected Company. And then... I don't know, pretend that's the changeling thing. So 12 plus, say, 24 lands. I mean, you're all, the rest of your deck has to be vampires, man, if you play that. So no Fatal Push, no Thought Seize. It's kind of shit, innit? Why play champion? Oh, this card's gas, man. What do you mean, why play champion? Why play Sorin if you're not going to play this thing? <clears throat> Anything else? Any other colour, any other tribal colour that wouldn't mind splashing for Coco, basically? Because if you splash for Coco, you can play this. It's 
Pro probably spirits will use this best, I imagine. Because not only spirits also has a lot of lords, right? So this thing can actually attack. Spirits are gonna make this thing not be a two three, but instead be like a three four four five sometimes, which is good. A new card. That's already on the thing, is it not? No? Cal times Fenrir. What? It's not called Cow Times Fenrir, it's called Saroth Realmeter. What? Alright, 3 mana, 3 3 wolf. Whenever a permanent or opponent, uh, whenever a permanent an opponent controls is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on Sarulf Realmeter. At the beginning of your upkeep, if Sarulf has one or more plus one plus one counters on it, you may remove all of them. If you do, ex ex exile each other non land permanent with converted mana cost less than or equal to the number of counters removed this way. thing sucks. This thing is trash. Mm -mm -mm. It's only saving grace as the dodges heartless act, I guess, sometimes, but... Nah, this thing's a scam, guys. Big scam. Even even if you get this thing to work, it's not that good. Because you, you play this creature, say your opponent is an ultra Papega and just as just plays into this thing, no big deal. Then you remove their stuff. And then your payoff for removing their stuff is that you get to remove their stuff that's already gone again. Like the stuff's already gone, you've already killed it to put counters on it. Read the read the Twitter comments. Okay. Whoa, love the card, frame, art, colours, adore this. It does look cool, I'll say that. Era Lobo Kutekiaria? Era Lobo to Keria? Don't know. Don't know, man. <coughs> See. <laughs> Alright. Kana Kaya Babrava. Kaya Yaya. The inexorable. The inexorable. Guys, that is not a real word. That's not a word in the English language. Impossible to do, to stop or prevent. Kaya, the impossible to stop or prevent. <laughs> All 
All right, I can't read this. <clears throat> five mana planeswalker, five loyalty. Put a ghost form counter on up to one target non-token creature. It gains when this creature dies or is put into exile. Return it to its owner's hand and create a one-one. What? Okay, so the plus is pretty good. Why, why only non-target creature, though? The minus is gas, obviously. Doesn't get much better for a minus than that. Plus is terrible? Mm, don't know about that, man. Don't know about terrible. Plus is like pretty good. The minus is insane. And five loyalty to start is really good. <clears throat> I think this is good to play in soccer. I'm going to give Kaya the inexorable my stamp of approval. That is a magic card. So, so far we have two magic cards, I believe. This thing is maybe bust though, by the way. Stupid dwarf guy. But I'm sure he doesn't have too many dwarf friends, sadly. Showdown of the Scalds and Kaya the Inexorable. Here we are. Both of them are gas. There's also Pathways. Pathways are sick. But they should already be in the game. I'm kind of tilted that they're just getting added now. Okay, chat. I'll be back tomorrow. It's been a goddamn pleasure. Remember to like and subscribe to YouTube, by the way. Ring the bell, by the way. Stay safe, homies. YouTube.com forward slash C forward slash Crokey's YT. YT standing for YouTube. Smart content creator here. Boat leave. <laughs>